It's pretty amazing, right? I'm just going to throw this into a video. I come away from a field full of magic mushrooms, right? And look at this, right? Straight into a path of another ring of fairies. And there's also an Amanita Verosa right over there. But lads, lads, just watch this, right? Just watch my ring. Look. Wee. We are in Alice in Wonderland, folks. Right? And I'm going to do a bit of mountain walking here, or cliff walking here for you, right? There's one ring. And there's a find. <laughs> I love it. Look at this, folks. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, and I found this. I love finding stuff like this. Especially in a ring of Amanita muscaria. That is mad. There's loads of them here, right? Well, let's go for a walk, right? Up the hill. Look at this. This is fairy kingdom right here. If there are fairies associated with these fucking things. By fucking God. Look at that. Ah, they're beautiful, man. They are deadly. Oh, look at the size of that one. Oh, wow, man. Oh, this is mental. <laughs> oh, this is savage. And look. I'll take a walk over, uh, lads, I can't, I can't, literally, I can't explain what's going to my body right now. I'm, I'm like over the fucking moon. I found these before, but never in this quantity. Where's my knife? And I get a good fucking, I'll try to dig them up and show you what I mean. These have a bulbous sack on them. Right, I'll just use the mora. <laughs> oh, lads. I haven't even been fishing yet, folks. I'm trying to get fishing. This is amazing. I'm just digging away at its base to find the sack she came out of. If you dig underneath the mushroom, it will give you this. And there is, folks, one beautiful looking. Amanita muscaria, fresh, about a day old or two days because the veil's still on it. A fantastic mushroom and grows plentiful here. And I'm going to find a way because people, people, right, they're poisonous if eaten. From what I read, they're poisonous if you eat them raw, obviously. And they can send you into a berserker state, which the Vikings used to, used to do, right? But if you tr triple boil them, they're meant to be lovely. Now I've personally myself dried these out to a crisp and they're fucking beautiful. And that's why I'm so happy to be standing here right now because I ate 10 grams of these dried to a crisp. I ain't dead and it was lovely. There's fucking hundreds of them. There's people selling these things online by the gram, right? Now... At the end of this video, you'll understand what I mean. A lot of money to be made right here, but I'd rather not because I don't know much about them yet. So I'm just going to continue walking, right? The excitement, folks, is going through my body right now. It's crazy. I'm going gathering like 10 of these into a box. They stay going up. All the fungi lovers on my channel, you're going to like this, aren't you, folks? This is beautiful. For Ireland, this is surprising. Now, I was told as well that these aren't... <coughs> these aren't to be found much in, in Ireland. Uh, really? <laughs> well, come down here and have a few. <coughs> There's one there, it's acting like a, a sunflower. You see, you don't have to be extremely, like, picky if you're taking them home to dry them. You can just pull them up because they've got a big bulb on them. That's how you identify them. The red and white spots, obviously is one big identifier. Come back! Ah look, bloody one where he came from. I'm not really too worried about getting stuff in my hands. I probably should be. But I picked these before and I didn't die, so. Right, one of them's gone to the end of the hill. I'm just gonna show you these here. My fishing spot's up there, anyway, it's on the bend. So the sun's going down, we might get a few jumpers. Look at that, folks. Going towards the sun. Does that tell you anything right there? Right, yeah, well, uh, 
I'm gonna pause this video. This is the end of the mushroom video, the Amanita muscaria video, the ones that I weren't supposed to find. And look, folks, there's loads of them over there. There's loads of them over there. I, I want to get a fishing video in before this evening's out. My God. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you like it. I like this shit. Like I think this is amazing because uh, I didn't really give a fuck about a mushroom three years ago. <laughs> anyway, all the best. Take care. How are you? Just a little bit of fishing. I actually finally got here. That's all my trouble. Uh, welcome to yet another video. Yeah, man. Haven't fished in a long time in this place. But last time I was here, I caught a fish. Only a small little fella, but look, we can do it today, isn't it? It's a nice few size fish down there, but. My rod stand's still there. I just, uh, all I'm using is, I think it's about a size 8 hook, uh, two small split shots, and a worm, and you just hook it into the flow over there, so you see that flow, over there, it starts that thumb, and it's going, you take it all the way down, so that you can fall something, you can keep track of it, and then you come back and it. This is a bit of Canada, an old maple leaf. <laughs> I don't want maple leaf, I want fish. I want a fish. What I'll do is I'll do the patience fish. I'll, uh, I'll put out the worm and I'll throw it up in the rod stand. And I'll just leave it in the floor. Or in that tree. I don't believe it, come on now. Fucking new. I'm going to give it back to you, don't mind. Thank you. Worm and all, and he'll love you too. Yeah? And he'll be shaky on the old taxi, and you get right over there. Perfect. See ya. He's in the floor now. I'll spot somewhere. Now, I'm ready to lay the deck. How are you in there, folks? Can't even see the wee line, hey? Where's it going? Oh, putting a rock. I'm pulling my sword 71 now. No. You fucking maggot. No 
old salmon in here either. You might get an old brownie or a sea trout. Sea trout if you're lucky, but the water is very low. Very low. And this video is going to be as long as I can get. <laughs> well, that's the only problem after recording like fucking six videos today so far. A wee wormy hole. Aye. We got a wee bite. Oh, we did. Leave it there and it'll go back for us. Oh, we're getting bites, Dad. Oh, that was lost. No, that was definitely a bite. The first one. The first one was definitely a bite. Shut the fuck up in my head. We'll leave it there for a wee minute. And we can actually see the rod in the video. You can. You can see my mug too. <laughs> See, it doesn't help when they're fishing and they're rolling us out at the same time. It's a lovely evening. I've been out all day. I think it's time to turn on this smoke. <coughs> just leave that rod to sit there. You don't normally float fish a worm, so it's not really float fishing, it's slow fishing. There's a pool there that keeps spinning. And you know, so the, the worm constantly keep coming back out and around the pool. Well, because I have the two BBs on it, it might actually fail. So, we'll see what the crack is. We've eight minutes on this so far, you know. Might give it an old pause till something happens. But then again, that will that will ease the suspense. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna pull it out and put it back in again.
Well, hey, hope the video runs fine. Eh? Present. You should have tried to listen to these fucking ones. I'd be ashamed of my life catching these things. Now he's gone. Ah. <laughs> okay, anyway, he's uh, busy smoking his bag. You might hear him, yeah, you might have heard him fluffing. Well, it was one. Guarantee I'll get another one. Thank you.